Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 13, verses 1 to 15. Before the Feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come, to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Master, Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightfully so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus asks us to not only follow his words, but his actions as well, especially his example of washing the feet of his disciples we hear from the evangelist Luke this evening. This extraordinary act of humility, charity, and love had far-reaching implications than merely the utility of cleaning one's feet. This type of service was only reserved for servants, let alone a distinguished guest of honor. Because during the time of Jesus, the feet were considered one of the dirtiest, smelliest, and disgusting parts of one's body due to the many dirt roads and opened-toed footwear which were commonly worn everywhere. To put it into a modern context, It is similar to inviting the Pope over for dinner, and during the meal, he suddenly asks if he could clean your toilet. Much like this, foot washing then would have been borderline scandalous for such an esteemed guest to do so. So as we prepare for the Easter Triduum, let us be mindful of not only the words of Jesus, but his actions of humility, charity, and love. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and charitable day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.